Alright guys, we're headed into town in the smart car to go get some more scares. Dude, I'm excited. You got to do this last time, but this is just plain funny. <laughs> Did you get him? <laughs> yeah, the one guy didn't even look and then she was just like, what? This might be the most highly anticipated video we've ever created. Today's the day we're throwing new wheels and tires on the smart car and we're lifting it as well. I don't know how hard it's gonna be, but the finished product is for sure going to be dope. Oh shit. So this is what the front wheel looks like. Wow. Holy shit, we're gonna have to cut a lot. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a lot of the fender off. Obviously, if you wanna buy wheels for a smart car, it's not the easiest thing. Making them fit is even harder. So basically, I had to order these custom wheel adapters because it's a three lug, and now it's gonna be going to a five. This thing's costed 500 bucks to get four of them made. Look at the box the lift kit came in. I'm pretty sure the lift is literally just four hockey pucks. Yeah, it's what literally like, look at it's this. It's just like a spacer that goes on top. Yeah, so it's, it's not much of a lift. Is this plastic? This is literally everything they sent us. We're not the first people to do this. There's an Instagram account that already did this and we reached out to them and they pretty much just hooked us up with like the right yeah. fitment for it because he was the first one to do it. <laughs> These wheels and tires are worth about half the cost of that vehicle right there. Yeah? If not a little more. If not a little more. Basically, oh, if you read an instruction, it's supposed to screw that it usually goes a lot better too. too. There comes a point, at least I'm a little bit older than you guys, where you just like start reading directions. Your ego, you, you can't let it take over anymore. You, you know, it's not even my ego. No, I, yeah, I'm not saying it is. Yeah, but, I just can't like, read. Oh. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm trying to learn mm -hmm. right now. Pictures though. Help a cause out. What? I'm not. I'm not any better. If, if anything, I'm worse. <laughs> they should have used more pictures and more arrows. <laughs> <laughs> what company doesn't put like instructions on YouTube these days though? It's I like, have a feeling they probably sold like four of these kits. <laughs> yeah. So it yeah, it's probably not too much of a hot item. So basically, what we have done right now is just the back left. This one is complete. We got the extension on, the little puck to raise it up. Uh, everything over there is set and ready to go. We have to do the same to the other side. The issue with it is everything is so rusted and I mean the lack of knowledge as to how to do it, but the, the rust is really playing a dirty on us. The front struts were so corroded on that we had to cut them off. And then basically order new ones, so we've been just on hold, but they just showed up today. So, uh, hopefully the same thing. They do not look like the same. You're kidding. Wait, hold up. You just gotta cut it, bro. My dummy zone was speaking. Right, right, right. Uh, that Don't looks scare a me like that, I was bro. like, I was like, oh, we f***ed up. But anyways, we've already wasted enough time waiting on these parts, so I think we're just gonna get right into it. supposed to use an impact but honestly we just don't have time to be doing things properly anymore because when you don't do them properly it goes a lot faster <laughs> I'm pretty excited so like getting the lift on was definitely journey number one and it was definitely a journey but the next part is getting the wheels on and getting them to fit because right. the lift is gonna help them fit but they're not gonna fit perfectly without lots of cutting you know but that's kind of what makes this cool we're, just, we're missing uh, three lugs yeah, we literally can't find three missing lug nuts for CJ's car, uh, so we're gonna just take them off of Micah's. That 
is what we call smart car recycling. This looks ridiculous, dude. I know, it's gonna be sick, honestly. <laughs> it's so good. All right, no turning back now. Just a quick three months later. The name for this is gonna be Tiny Junior. Oh, Tiny, I was gonna say Lil Frank for like Lil Frank's name. I guess that'd work too. Well, everyone vote down in the comments. Tiny Junior or Lil, Lil Frank. Frank. Yeah, it looks just as ridiculous outside as it does inside. It looks like a little matchbox car. This thing turned out surprisingly well. Oh, Ken, what, are you surprised? A little, little bit, yeah. Yo, real talk though, this thing took way longer than we ever anticipated. I think it took three weeks for it to get done, and uh, we had to call our buddy Brian like two or three times to come help us. So thank you, Brian, if you're watching this. Yeah, look at this camber on the back, but the less ideal part is, uh, the tow -in. The tow -in. yeah, the, the tow-in. Yeah, it definitely needs an alignment. I just, you know, I don't know if we can bring this somewhere and be like, hey, can you uh, give us an alignment? They're gonna be like, what is this? This is way too much of a hack job. <laughs> <laughs> Drives really good, slow as balls, just like it was, yeah. but it is extremely sketchy. When you're going fast, you just don't want to turn the wheel even a millimeter because it's gonna... Does it dart? Yeah, it like wants to put you If you ditch. let go of the wheel, what happens? Yeah, I mean, it just if it's holding straight, you're fine. <laughs> Tom, did you come for the truck meet? Yeah, I thought this was the place it was at. All the monster trucks in local town is coming. Right, yeah, no, you're in the right spot. All right, so brief smart car break. We actually have some shop renovations coming. Not necessarily renovations, but maybe additions, I should say. There will be renovations coming with these additions. Dang. They're fairly large, so we had to literally try to make as much space Everything. as possible. So I was expecting them, normally they come in like a weird creamish color. We're gonna paint them either way, but they're white now, which actually doesn't look bad. So yeah, I don't know if you guys know what these are, but they're uh, shipping containers. So our plan is to put them in the shop, paint them red. Actually, it'll make more sense once we get them in. We'll be able to explain. I never thought I'd be so excited about a shipping container, dude. I know, I know. If you were to ask me what my 12 year old dream would look like, it would, it would probably be this parking lot. It would it's be. something like this. <laughs> One of the coolest part about it though. What? We got a lifted smart car inside. I know, that's the best <laughs> part. More snowmobiles coming. All right, so this might not be super exciting to some of you guys, or you might not understand completely what's going on right now, but I promise you, the shop okay. will never be the same. No, it's gonna look completely different. It, but it's gonna be for the better. This is, this is the beginning of a serious shop makeover. Full yeah, of PS5s. Full of PS5s. It's my dream room. They forgot to unload it from China. We're like, finders keepers.
Jesus, man. Don't do that. <laughs> I had a grip on you. What if we played a prank on like one of our friends and had him come over and we're like, yeah, check out the shipping container. We had him open it up and we had someone in there with like a candle naked in the back yes, corner. Yes. And we're like, shit, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> like one of the delivery guys, like, yeah, just put him in there in the back. And he's like, oh, okay. We're like standing at the door, he gets in the back. <laughs> <laughs>